You've got to be kidding me. I, I just got the news that Brody freaking Lee just died. And he was only 41 years old. Uh, apparently they're saying it's because he had a lung issue or something like that. Um, and it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking to hear that because he was going to be, he was going to do such great things when, when, or if he would have come back from his injury in AEW and that's just, that, that's, uh, like, like this is, this is almost like reliving Kobe all over again, just, just, just this, just this freaking year just doesn't stop, even after freaking Christmas, it just doesn't stop, I, 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 I don't even know, guys, um, I'm, I'm just heartbroken right now. He was so good on the indies and and doing such great things AEW with like Dark Order and all that and just. <sighs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Brody Lee, A.K.A. John. You, you gave a lot of people such great memories and. Uh, yeah, I. I knew he was having issues with like his health and stuff, but I didn't know it was like this serious. Um, and it's just, it's one of those things that catches you off guard. Like, I one of the last great things that he did for his career that he could be so proud of is the fact that he had that amazing dog collar match with Cody, regardless of whether or not he won or lost that match. He gave one hell of a performance in that match, and in front of one of his idols, like Greg Valentine, like that was one of the matches he talked about um, on the Unrestricted podcast of how like good that was going to be. So, like, yeah, it's just it sucks to hear that. It, it really just it just sucks. I'm I'm sorry to everyone, to his family, and everything. So. Just keep him in your thoughts and prayers, guys. Keep him in there. R.I.P.